we don't get to fish a lot of tidal water, but if you're fishing tidal water, it's really important to know whether the tide is going in or coming out. Coming in, going out. <laughs> How do you tell? Good morning guys and girls, November 9, a chilly morning, November 9, 1 Peter 5, 4, 5, 4. Then when Christ, the chief shepherd, comes, you will get a glorious crown that will never lose its beauty. You know, uh, I don't know if when you get to heaven or when Jesus comes back to earth, if we're going to get crowns that all look alike, but I know they'll be glorious. Or some of us will get crowns that maybe have a few more uh, rubies and diamonds on them than others. I don't know. I'd be uh, tickled to death just with a little simple crown. Just It doesn't have to be anything fancy at all because it will be a glorious crown that will never lose its beauty. Never fade, never dull, 10,000 years. Ooh. Here's what I wrote about that. <clears throat> When I first saw a Terminator spinnerbait, it was, and still is, <coughs> the prettiest spinnerbait I've ever seen. <laughs> they were like uh, 10 bucks a piece, 9.95, back when most spinnerbaits were 3.95 or 2.95. The gold-plated blade was shinier, shinier than any other on the market. The fish-like metalized head was awesome. It wasn't painted, it was metalized, and it looked so real. The quick change, the skirt with uh, two sides of rubber tails had incredible action. It was really more of a work of art than a fishing lure. The frame was made of space-age titanium. I was, to say the least, very impressed with a Terminator spinnerbait. And you know, that spinnerbait was an amazing bait for years and years and years until the guy that developed the spinnerbait sold it to another company and they uh, pretty well took the, the quality of that bait in the wrong direction. and. Uh, and uh, when we don't even, don't even, I don't I guess they're still on the market. I'm not really sure. As pretty as that Terminator looked, it will not come close to what God has in store for you and me. Not a halo. Not a halo. We're not going to have a halo like angels. We're not going to do that. But a crown. A crown. A crown more glorious and more beautiful than we can ever imagine. We're all going to walk around like kings and queens. We're going to have a crown. And unlike the spinnerbait that gets pretty ragged after 40 or 50 bass, our crown would look just as amazing after a thousand years or so. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? God has prepared things in heaven for us that we haven't even thought about. You know, I never really thought a whole lot about having a crown and and uh, I've heard people say sometimes when you do something good for somebody or you, you, uh, you do something good for society or just good for mankind that, well, you're getting a lot of jewels in your crown. Well, I don't know if that's true or not, but it might be. But I know that the least person in heaven, the least person in heaven, you know, I don't know who the least person might be. Never have thought about that. It might be the guy that was hanging on the cross beside Jesus that was being killed for terrible, terrible crimes, but confessed his sins to Jesus and asked Jesus to save him right before he died. Might be. I mean, he might be the greatest person in heaven. I don't know, aside from Jesus and God himself. Wow, I just can't wait. Here's our tip. This is talk about the tide. You can tell if the tide is going in or out by looking at weeds or anchored boats. You know, it's real easy to think about, well, I can just watch and see which way the water's moving. Well, you can at certain points of the tide. Uh, when it's really rushing out or really rushing back in, you can just see the water move. But the critical times in fishing the tide, you can't really tell. So you've got to look for indications of why that tide, which way that tide is moving. And you know it's always important, obviously, just like fishing in any kind of current, you want to bring the bait with the tide or with the current into the front of the fish because they're facing into it. It's, it's important in the way they're positioned on whatever structure you're fishing. So uh, as the tide slows down, it's hard to tell if it's still coming in 
or if it's going out. It's really difficult. So watch for those weeds and watch for anchored boats. If you see boats anchored, most of the places where you have tidal water, you have boats that anchored out or they moor them. They call it mooring sites. They have anchors out there and they just tie a boat up to it and just let it drift around. Whichever direction it is, if it's, it's pulling down this way, the tide is coming this way and making move it. If it's the opposite direction, it's coming the other way. Tidal water, there's a lot to learn about tidal water, and I don't claim to be an expert on it, but we have learned a lot over the years, and it is an absolutely great place to fish. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today, and remember, you might be putting a few diamonds in your crown. I love you.